welcome back. Next candidate is this one. Uh, there is a display unit missing. We have actually two. I recently bought one for very cheap money. Uh, my display unit doesn't work. It's a Marconi 2730 spectrum analyzer, 110 megahertz. Um, pretty okay for HF stuff. Uh, it's got a TV tube as a display unit. Have a look at the display on it at the moment. Let me pull it out and uh, put it together because it's two units stuck together. So, we'll have a look at it. Well, at very first, we're going to fit all the mounting hardware again. Uh, you can take the covers off without taking them off. The reason why I had them off was uh, because where I left before, I had to take them off to clear uh, the rack. Otherwise, there was no way to get them in the same shelving as the Altec. So these are just the, the latches for the top unit. We're just going to fit them and then we'll put it together. And, uh, because again I'm, I'm going to move house in a not too distant future and I want all the bits together because it's last time it was a nightmare to find all the stuff. Here you get the display unit. What I desperately tried to figure out how to get the front bezel off to clean it, uh, I have absolutely no idea how this thing comes off. The manual doesn't say it. And there are some screws here. I tried to take it apart. It was a pain in the neck. I could not get the front bezel off. There must be a trick somehow. The manual doesn't state it. It's probably just clipped in. and I, I didn't want to destroy anything. So let me put the hardware back because I had to take it off here as well. And uh, then we'll power it up. The, the secret to this unit is these uh, connection leads. If you don't have them, so if you ever buy one of these, make sure you got the connection leads between the two units because that's everything you need. Without those, it's not going to work. I'm not sure if they're the same. They look the same. They're probably the same. Uh, bought this unit many, many years ago. Probably 20, 25 years maybe. Um, it wasn't super cheap, but it did the job. And uh, I just recently got another display unit for twenty-five pounds, which is about thirty-five dollars or so. Um, hopefully, because this doesn't display. So we do have power, and we see the display flickering, doing something. Eventually. Uh, Let's do some sweep here. Uh, yeah, we got a display. Uh, center frequency. Can't move it actually. Center left hand. So the display seems not doing something. We can actually produce the bright line position, which is good. Display intensity is fully up. Horizontal gain. That's all working. Intensity is fully up. So vertical shift works. On uncut lights work. So let me see. Yeah, something is happening here. We've got four contacts somewhere. So let's get a signal here. Um, it has a tracking generator, uh, but as soon as it, the light has a bit of a problem here, as soon as you run the tracking generator or the frequency counter, uh, it seems to have a little bit of a problem here. That switch is actually bent. So this is uh, it's doing 10 megahertz per division. And just keep the signal in. Signal in. Twenty. Twenty-eight point five megahertz. And uh, at whatever zero dBm. Zero dBm is fine. So that's plus ten. That's fine. Tricky if you got a 
Oh, we're not gonna get anything here. So we got 10 megahertz per division, center frequency normally. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, so that seems to work. Our center is uh, about 28 megahertz. 28.5 is our center. So whatever we measure here is not gonna go through. Um, I mean, quiet filter. So, I, yeah, you can do some fine tuning here. But we should have the signal on the screen now. So, the problem is I can't clean it on the back side. So, either we have a problem with the HF unit. DVMs. Yeah. If I take the thing out, we don't have a noise floor. I'm on maximum sensitivity and there is no noise floor. So either nothing is coming from here. There's a problem here. That light was on before and it was it's not on anymore. So, uh, 10 dB stiff, okay, now we are DVMs, and uh, 0 dBm we should have a signal. Right, uh, we feeding 0 dBm at 28.5 MHz, and uh, it's, it can't be bothered really to see anything. What I don't see is a noise floor, uh, not at all. So I think, because it's simple, we try the um, the other display unit, and if that doesn't work, um, we need to go into the HF unit. All right, let's turn it off. Switch it here, and uh, get the other one. Well, it's pretty hard to read, but it's got a, a test card which says final. Final inspection 92. So it may work. I don't know. Looks alright to me. No major defects, a bit of paint on the. Probably someone written something on that screen, who knows? Dirty. Uh, we'll check the voltage setting and then we just fire it up. I can hear the horizontal transformer of the tube. So let's see what we get here. Okay. It seems to work. And the display does not work. isn't working. Uh -uh. Okay, that has a display failure. I can hear the transformer doing something, but I should have a display. And uh, I should see something, but I don't. So we may have a failure here in the display. Okay, so we may use that as a part unit. Shame, but uh, yeah, it's worth the part. And I can figure out how to get that vessel off. I'm pretty sure it's a simple trick. Slide it out or push it out, or I don't know. Um, okay, so I think we need the drawings to see what goes where. Let's switch it off just in case there's something weird happening. Uh, there might be a separate power supply, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's check the signal path because with our display unit, because our display unit is working. And then we just see what we can fix here. So we're monitoring that detector output. And if I change the level here, you can see getting more so I said the persistence a bit short but uh, 
you can see it's doubling with the bud born gradual. Yeah, you know, it's almost gone now. Here it comes, and here it comes more. Okay, so what we can tell is that the HF unit apparently is detecting because we're feeding uh, 28.5 megahertz with 90% uh, AM into it. Um, so it seems to work somehow. So most likely the HF unit is working, so it's a display unit problem that some detectors don't work, and there is a problem with those units. The detector boards um, over time they got leaking transistors I think it's a DC177 or something like that just some tra old transistors which are leaking over time uh, let's check the drawings and uh, see where we start um, I can't do an XY because I don't know the pin out of the XY output but that gives me enough indication that this thing is doing what it's supposed to do if I change that to uh, let me change that to a bit. Okay, here we go I'm higher bandwidth so I'm at uh, 100 kilohertz I make the bandwidth smaller you can see it's different I don't care about bandwidth I, I, all I want to see is the signal and apparently it's there so, I think the HF unit is at least working somehow. That means I need to take the cover off this one and just check what's going on. So, that's how it looks inside. Um, obviously, 70s technology also. I don't know when it's made. Um, I think we start off with measuring voltages and see what we can find. Passages look okay, no bulged ones, but you never know. It's getting pretty warm. So, right, let's see what we can do. Okay, this is the first logarithmic amplifier. And, uh, just looking we're getting and we have about 90% AM depth and if we put that down to zero it's fine so um, the amplifier is working we can see the signal so the problem is after that is probably the second one or somewhere further down the, the line because I can actually I can center it perfectly fine so I'm on manual, so I'm sitting on the right frequency, whatever that is, 9.999 something. Uh, so we can see the amplifier is working. We don't sweep, so there's no gating. Uh, yeah, we need to look any further. Look, for, look further. So detector is working. Um, lock amp is the first stage is working, so we need to figure out what the next second stage is doing, because at some point it's going to be mixed with the graphicals and apparently that part is working so the output stage of the CRT is working it's somewhere in, the, in between well at the moment I'm su suspecting that 82 board because the level which goes in which is actually what technically comes out here goes in here uh, is higher than what I can see on the output so there might be some faulty components um, simple way would be swapping the board with the other one but uh, we need to go through the test points and just check what the uh, what the drawing says there might be a faulty component that's what it looks like because the signal is pretty low on the output here it's about half of what comes out here so according to the setup here it should be higher.